Hello, epic viewers. From around the multiverse, we're here to bask in unprecedented glory, because today we're going to be unbagging the one and only epic Pokemon Snorlax app. Without further ado, without further, without further delay, without further procrastination, let's solicit the bag. What item is encompassed inside this transparent bag? Here's none other than the aesthetically appealing, soft, ineffably divine Pokemon Snorlax hat. That can overlap my cerebral cortex and my epidermis. My mind will be enveloped by the Snorlax hat. So without further ado, let's um, unravel the packaging. This is going to be Beast Jones Savage. I'm going to perforate through the packaging. There we go. I mustered up just enough strength and vigor to get the job done. So we have the Pokemon Snorlax hat in pristine and condition. It's unscathed. It's not marred. It's not um, dented. It's not scuffed. It's not scratched. It's not tattered. It's not dilapidated. And unlike my room, it's not ramshackled. So here we go, as I explained earlier, as I elucidated earlier, it's going to overlap my mind, it's going to insulate my head, and um, it's going to modify my visage, it's going to modify my facade, you know, Snorlax, Snorlax loves to be laxed, he loves to relax and be mellow, he loves to slumber. He loves to indulge in nirvana and REM sleep. He detests and disdains being awakened from his slumber. So, as you can unequivocally see, he's grinning. He has ears protruding out of his head. They can flap. He has two fangs, apparently. He has a chewing apparatus, which is utilized for eating. And it seems as though he's squinting. He's a normal type Pokemon. He's vulnerable to um, get entrounced by fighting type Pokemon that can deal twice as much damage against him than other types. He also has a thick fat ability, rendering him somewhat impervious to fire attacks and ice attacks. How do you allay your worries? How do you assuage your stress? You put on the Snorlax hat and you subsequently go to sleep. You role play to be Snorlax. Metaphorically speaking, in other words, bask in glory and live life like a Snorlax. Sleep all day when possible, and when you get up, eat, and then go back to bed. That's what we're designed to do, eat and sleep and nothing else. We're human beings, not human dooms, not human doings. So, I love this hat. It's mesmerizing, to say the least. I always feel enchanted when I take a gander at this hat. So here it is, compared to the um, Gengar hat. I think I prefer the Snorlax hat more. It's, um, classic, nostalgic. And um, it resonates with my character better than the Gengar hat. Gengar is um, sinister, he's cynical, he's cunning, he's conniving, he's devious, he utilizes subterfuge and covert attacks to um, take his enemies by storm and to um, give them a trouncing from um, the shadows. 
Snorlax, on the other hand, is conspicuous, overt, and he just loves to um, indulge in living life by eating all day and sleeping all day whenever possible. And he can also unleash his havoc against other Pokemon if he so chooses to. He can utilize Hyper Beam, Body Slam, Rest, Sleep Talk, and he loves to loaf around. So I best resonate with Snorlax rather than Gengar in terms of my personality and character. Who doesn't love to loaf around? Who doesn't love to saunter? Who, does, who doesn't love to um, eat incessantly and refrain from demonstrating indefatigable energy to reserve energy for the pending future? So, here's a Snorlax hat one more time. And if you want to delay your stress, then look no further than putting on the fleece Snorlax hat. It can obscure. Uh, it can obscure your field of vision. It can modify your appearance, and it could overall embellish your attire. So. I'm satiated, I'm satisfied, I'm content with this purchase and decision. I have no qualms appertaining to buying the Snorlax hat. So, I hope that you found this video to be enthralling and insightful. Once again, here's the front, and here's the back. Here's the top, and here's the bottom, and here's the inside. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.